Well, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, back for round two. We were about to leave and go take care of all the things we need to take care of, and this was sitting at the door. I did purchase it from Paco Rabanne. Well, Raban, as they're known now, no longer Paco Rabanne. And I couldn't help myself. Um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and bust this open and check it out. Stay tuned. Here we have it. With the new contour to the bottle, I actually do kind of like the edging and the contouring. Gold for their trophy cup style, but has the gradients of Invictus Legend. So supposed to be like a dark soap kind of fragrance according to the notes. Um, it's a three note note breakdown. If I remember, we'll, we'll look at it on, we'll put it on screen in a little bit because I've looked at it when they first announced it. So we're gonna check this out. Let's uh. Let's give it a spray. Get one out in the air first. Get two, why not? It is a little soapy. Let's give it a spritz. See what we're working with. I'm, I have to say what's popping in my head right now. I smell grape soda out in the air. I don't know if anybody else gets that. Here's a change. They have a Raban R on top of the button. That's new. To help with their new branding information on the fragrance etched on the bottom most of the time I get 50 mls these days but I opted for the 100 milliliter bottle with this because Invictus is one of my all-time favorite fragrance lines original Invictus and Invictus Aqua 2018 are two of my all-time favorite fragrances so, what the hell I got 100 ml it does smell like Invictus it's not as scratchy, screechy, over-the-top, sweet, and synthetic. It's not super soapy, but there's a soapiness to it. This makes me so happy. So, this does smell kind of what I imagined Invictus Parfum should be. I'm actually very, very content with this. There's a hint of spiciness hanging in the backdrop. It is that sweet bubblegum aquatic that was heavily copied for a while. Everybody was doing their Invictus opening. But it's not as over the top sweet. And, and as I stated before, it's not overly synthetic either. It's not a natural smelling fragrance, but there's like this uh, soap foam meets slight woody tone, little hint of like a woody spice tone in the backdrop, kind of floating underneath the aroma with uh, that traditional Invictus smell. Because it is aquatic. This is smooth, as a parfum flanker should be. It is smooth. Let's pull up these notes. I'm actually, I'm actually pretty happy with how this turned out. If people are looking for like monster performer, that's not technically what parfum flanker means. I want to put that out there now. It doesn't come across as over the top loud. Like the original, the original is going to be a louder fragrance than this. Let's pull up these notes. A few minutes later. So I don't know how official this is, but according to Parfumo, there is expansion upon the initial few notes that were put out with Eye Fragrance and the press release for from Raban. But people are kind of eh rating it. 6.9 out of 10, 56 ratings. But sweet, synthetic, aquatic, fruity, green. I agree with that. I would put synthetic a little further back. Because if you compare it to Paco Rabanne Invictus, the original, this is not as scratchy and cheap-smelling synthetic as the original. So for those of you that are rating it highly on synthetic, compare it to the original before you go doing that. And you'll be like, oh, it's not that bad. I can almost guarantee that. So sweet synthetic, aquatic, fruity green. Top notes, marine notes, lavender, pink pepper. There's my little spice. If this is accurate, that makes sense on the little bit of spiciness I get. Violet leaf, black soap, because that was listed from Raban. Myrtle, cashmeran, so there's the woody tone. Cashmeran and sandalwood with some musk. Clean musk, sure. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. 
This is, I did expect a little bit warmer for a Parfum Flanker, but not warm at all. Very fresh, very aquatic, but not super saltwater aquatic. Like it's not a heavy marine smell. It says marine notes, but it's not like super salty. Like not salty like an Invictus Legend. That's salty, super sea salt heavy. A little bit, but this is like a cross between Invictus, Invictus Legend, and Invictus Aqua. It's almost like a highlight reel fragrance of those three. Like I, I relate it to all three of those versions of Invictus. I get a little bit of nuance from each of them. I like this a lot, and I could care less who's going to agree with this rating because I'm a fan of this DNA. I always have been. For the longest time, I've said Invictus Aqua 2018 is my favorite fragrance, and it still technically is. It's just you got to switch it up sometimes. That's why I took it out of my top five, because it's like, I love that. I, that'll never change. Invictus and Invictus Aqua were always 1A and 1B to me, and I smell both of those in here, plus Legend, and it's not just a clever trick because of the gradients is similar to Invictus Legend. I smell the salty, uh, slightly green element of that in here. I'm going to give this... An 8.75 out of 10, bordering outstanding, and the reason it's so high is because I'm a fan of the DNA. It's my opinion, because some people go, oh, bro, it's mid at best, for real, on God, and I'm going to see that stupid shit. Um, I'm going to see people say it's terrible. I'm going to see people say it's amazing, it's the best one in the line. This is going to be one of those polarizing designer releases that's going to be, I think, anyways, this is my thoughts it's going to be all over the place with this but if you're a fan of Invictus as a whole any one of the fragrances in the line is is a favorite of yours you're going to like this now the the ones that tie the least into it I would say you still get a little bit of platinum here and there I, I like the green element to it ties into platinum but probably the victory fragrances victory and victory elixir I think would be the least related to this fragrance but to me this smells like a hybrid of the original, Aqua, and Legend, I think is the main things I get here. I'm here for it. I'm happy with it. I was so excited about it. I bought it as soon as it released from Ravon's website directly. You know I'm excited about a fragrance when I buy it straight, a designer fragrance of that, straight from the company at full retail. That happens with every Spice Bomb flanker, too. We got dark leather coming at some point. I'm going to buy that for retail, but... Man, if I wasn't already wearing LeBeau Paradise Garden, I would start spraying this bad boy on. I'm wearing it this week, though. That I will say. So that is my first impressions on this one. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe before you leave this video. And it will be in more places to make it easier to sample. If you go to their website, it shows it's exclusively available through them right now in the U.S. market. But it will make its way to Macy's and places like that so you guys can sample it. But right now, it does come with a tote bag that gave to my wife, no big deal, a travel atomizer and a carded sample for this. So it does come basically a gift set. It's basically a full gift set for paying for the fragrance is what comes with this. So I'm happy with it. And uh, until next time, I will say if you get your hands on Invictus Parfum from Raban, no longer Paco Raban, and you give it a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys. Thank you.